Hello, my Taurus sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, and twin flame relationships. How are you doing today? I am your reader, uh, Mark A. Lyons now for short, and I'm doing this series on uh, twin flame relationships. Please do check out the video clarifying twin flames, soulmates, and uh, true lovers. Yep. <laughs> uh, to clarify what those terms mean in, in, in terms of this reading, in terms of these readings in general. But that's the language I'm using. Twin flames, soul contracts that you make with many people. You don't have just one. They are turbulent. And the essential thing you have to do to complete the contract is to, first of all, survive them. If you've survived a twin flame relationship, you fulfilled it. Uh, whether or not you completed it, said the trickster popping out. We'll look at that in a minute. Uh, we'll see if that comes back around. Um, but that the the contracts are about learning how to heal yourself, right? The other person can't heal you, can't give you what you need, and yet twin flame relationships can be as passionate and transformative, sometimes more so than soulmates. So we're only doing 14 cards, no clarifiers. Uh, you'll see how it rolls. There'll be one line I'm going to do first for the Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in the Twin Flame relationship. So you'll know that first line is for the Taurians. The second line uh, will be for the other in the Twin Flame relationship. And then uh, the third line will be for the relationship in general. You'll see how it plays out. This is cool. Um, I've been doing this, a version of this for myself for a couple of years now with certain people in particular. Twin flames, remember, not always sexual or romantic. It can be a family member. So please try and keep that in mind as we go through this. If you're only zoning in on this being a romantic thing, it could be a boss. It could be a turb any, turbul any turbulent relationship, but a relationship that has a pre-incarnational agreement or contract connected. So let's do this. Starting with the Caroline Mace archetype cards, please. My pantheon of angels, gods, and masters, please. One card to represent the Taurus, the archetypal power that they are transforming, that they are growing, that they are dealing with in this twin flame relationship. So Taurus, sun and rising, Venus sign in this twin flame relationship for August 2019. There it is. Uh, we've got the father energy. Uh, definitely masculine family of archetypes. So I, I will go back and read that once pulling one uh, from each of the five decks that I read. So thank you, Caroline Mace and the archetypes. That's really interesting considering the transformation that the father archetype has been going through uh, what, for the past century or so. So let's get some clarity on that. Uh, my angels, please. One card for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in this twin flame relationship. A clue, a tip, a hint for August 2019. Children. Well, that's really interesting, uh, father uh, and child, uh, sort of. But remember, that child archetype can be about the, ch the that child, that children card and the angel that can absolutely be talking about inner child stuff as well. Uh, so I got a little something, got a little hair in my eye or something. Uh, while I was tuning to the decks and blessing them and tuning into Taurus, I was definitely getting some physical... A discomfort and shifts both in my eyes and in my lower back. It was just a really, like, I felt very ungrounded, and I thought that was me personally, so I just tuned into it, and it was like, this might be going on uh, in in uh, the Taurus uh, collective as well for Twin Flames. So let's get a, a Daughters of the Moon tarot here. Uh, my gods, please, one card for the Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in this Twin Flame relationship for August 2019. They're coming very readily today. Earthquake. Well, that makes sense. Uh, earthquake, uh, the Five of Pentacles, which we know what that card looks like in other decks, uh, but that that is sort of that ungrounded feeling that I was feeling tuning into this. You know, being empathic, there's always that moment of, is this me? You know, for the longest time, you think it's all you, and then you start to realize it's not you. And, you know, doing this kind of work, I'm connecting to people that can be anywhere on the planet uh, that will be watching this eventually, right, coming across it, whether you're a lot of uh, the Taurus or a cross-watcher. Cross-watchers are totally welcome on my channel. So my masters, please, uh, a card of clarification, please, for this Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in this Twin Flame relationship. For August 2019, what's going on here? Yeah, I feel that right in my belly. You're giving me two here. You're giving me two. I'm going to break the rule of only taking one. 
Oh, okay. So we've got fear of commitment and responsiveness. So fear of commitment, you could say that's the lead, the problem, uh, and the gold has the luck card of responsiveness. Now, really, they told me I really felt to take those two. That was a little on the visceral side. Um, we'll see if that happens for the other two lines. I, I somehow doubt it will, but we'll see. Um, so that's really interesting because they really are giving you a lead and a gold. They're giving you a problem and uh, a luck card uh, of how to deal with that, particularly if there's an earthquake going on that is involving children and you are the, the father archetype in this. And that's why we're going to pull you a, uh, a whisper of love card here. So how, please, my pantheon of angels, gods, and masters, there you are, one card, please, for this Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in this twin flame relationship for August 2019. True love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. So you, you got the true love card here. Now, uh, 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 considering this is a twin flame relationship that the true love card came up, uh, particularly with the father and uh, the, the children card there, that this could be a parental thing where there is a lot of a physical change going on right now, that five of pentacles, uh, with the fear of commitment and yet w needing to be responsive. But how much do I commit? How much do, particularly if this is an adult to uh, a parent to child situation, but the child is older and adult. So let me read the father archetype because remember you do not have to have biological children to have the father archetype. I have the mother archetype in spades in my chart. Uh, so mothers play a major role in my life, and yet I have no biological children. I have company, I have company, and I have cats. All right, and I mother that child within me. So as I read this uh, father archetype for you, my Taurians, take this in. The light attribute. Remember, every archetype is light and shadow. Where are you in the balance? Light attribute, talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light within a tribal unit. So within a tribal unit, you could be a father. At business and remember gender doesn't matter we're not talking about gender here this is the masculine family this is more the yang side of it uh taurus even though you are definitely a feminine earth fixed you know zodiac sign regardless of sun moon rising or venus signs and if it's taurus and venus that's like how you love that this can be a very very demonstrative thing in its light in its shadow dictatorial control abuse of authority no, I don't know any Torians like that. I've only dated like six or seven of them. Like, man, blessed be the Torians, right? Dictatorial, dictatorial, the shadow here. Uh, this is a very, very interesting dynamic. And I mean, particularly true love, that really does transcend the possibility of this being just romantic. Uh, this, this does not have to me a feel of romantic, uh, particularly with that child card there, although how many times in twin flame romantic relationships are is this a, a, a clearing up some stuff about being someone's parent and the other person being the child, right? Like I've dated people older than me where I ended up playing the parental role, usually mother, just saying. Let's look at the other in this. This should be very interesting. Let's see who the other is because Really, I don't even get the sense that Taurus is the one who would be the child in that with that father archetype so dominant. So let's have a look see dook see. My pantheons of angels, gods, and masters, please one archetypal card for the other in this twin flame relationship for Taurus. Sun moon rising, Venus signs. One for the other in archetype. What is the power? Oh, bottom of the deck. The beggar. Ho 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 ho. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. I will read the definitions for that in a moment. I'm just going to make a little bit more room here for myself. Okay. Uh, that, that clicks in with the father wanting to be supportive and all of that, but not being sure whether or not to commit fully, but wants very much to respond. Response comes from love, not reaction. Responsiveness is that coming with open arms. So there's a push and pull thing there. Very, very indicative again of a twin flame relationship. Okay, so my angels, please, one card for this other 
in this Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus sign twin flame relationship for August 2019. Please, one card to clarify. There it is, emerging. So there is something emerging. There is something from the inner coming out, or because really we're looking at that pentacle card there that feels very earth, that, that something is being uh, brought to the surface here. Let's, uh, let's pull a tarot on that. My gods, please, one card in clarity for the other in this twin flame relationship for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for August 2019. Jumped in my hand. Kuan Yin. Now that's interesting. Kuan Yin, uh, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups that go with the flow that, uh, you know, sit with that, that water flowing behind. Usually it's the guy sitting like that with the, the Nine Cups uh, behind. Really a, a lovely card that if that's what's emerging here is more of this flow then that really does change the dynamic here. That's when they're saying, go move on. You've got two more decks to, to pull from and that will help clarify. So my masters, please, please clarify this. Uh, please give us one card for the other in this twin flame relationship for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for August, 2019. A clue, a tip, a a clarification. There, one card, I feel it. Jealousy. No, oh, that's an interesting element in there all together. I can feel the dynamic though. I can feel the dynamic though. My knuckles are itching. Uh, my pantheon of angels, gods and masters, please. A card, please, for this other, this other, this partner, this beggar in this Taurus twin flame relationship, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, on please one card for the other. Some guidance, a whisper of love. Spend some quality time together. It is important that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. This really feels parental. And if it's not literal parental, well, actually, they're saying the last, the third line should clarify that because that's uh, both, uh, both relation. Uh, that's the relationship overview, really. That that feels a little like that's going to be a little bit more on the nose here. Um, let me read the beggar, right? Light and shadow, the light attribute confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakes the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. And that really is the light side of the beggar, that when you are really, if, if that's where you are, if you're the, the, the beggar in this, or I could even see you being the father of this, it's going to evoke compassion, humility. Um, but that, that key thing of self-esteem, that self-esteem is not a noun, it's a verb. So there's an opportunity for an alchemy into that true estimation of self. And of course the father can be supportive of that, but it is, at the end of the day, self-esteem, not father esteem, not anybody else's esteem, right? It's, it's, it's self-estimation. Uh, the shadow attribute, dependent on others to the exclusion of effort. And that's why I feel this fear of commitment card. It's like, how far do I go with this? Now, if this was, you know, a younger child, twin flame relationship, I mean, by law, right? So that's that, I, I feel like that would not necessarily uh, come up in this and remember that the, the the top line the Taurus here could be female because this is more masculine energy yang type kind of support could be financial could be financial um and, and with that that nine of cups emerging and emerging that there is more flow there is there are emotions moving here and that that part of it is tainted by jealousy it might be coming out jealousy different than envy the deadly sin of the third eye um but but i could see that there's a tension here that's part of that turbulence right that the beggar might very must might be very jealous of what uh the father has in this uh, and so the 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 guidance and the grace of spend some quality time together and actually talk and listen to each other makes sense so let's do the third line now we're not doing the archetypes for those we've got the 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 twins here the the taurian and the other so we're just going to go angels, gods, masters, and then one last whisper of love. Cool. 
Night angels, please one card for this twin flame relationship of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun for August 2019. Please one card to overlight, to over picture the entire twin flame relationship. Friendship. Okay, blessed be. Blessed be that this can be done in a friendly way. That that this, you know, uh, you know, as much as I, I love um, my parents, uh, my mom and my stepfather, Hera and Zeus, as I call them, uh, we were not always best friends. I mean, I was a, I was a hellion growing up. I'm the youngest of four. You know, I'm the only gay one in the family, uh, at least within my uh, my subset, my my nuclear step family, all of that. Um, but now we're friends, and it's just like the best thing ever. So you know, eventually, you know, if you're the cross watcher beggar here, just keep in mind it's like they're human beings, and they're not your parents in every life if it is parental. But that there there is really here a, a blessing of friendship. The angels are saying that there is common ground here. There is common ground, and this can be done in a friendly way. So my gods, please one card clarifying for this Taurus twin flame relationship, Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus twin flame for August 2019. A nice clip. Yeah, I feel it. I just can't look at the other ones. Okay. Ah, the Sybil, the Ace of Blades, uh, uh, a new thought coming in, a new idea, a new download. Uh, a new beginning, a new ace of, of, of blades, ace of swords of offering uh, a, a thought, a, a new beginning of thought, a new way of looking at it, um, a new conversation, a real offering. That feels really lovely. All right, my masters, here is your opportunity to throw another Womp Womp card if you want to. <laughs> Please, uh, my masters, uh, one card here for this twin flame relationship in overall involving this Taurus and Moon Rising Venus sign for August 2000. 19, please, one overlighting card of clarity and elucidation. Risk. Ain't it just that it's a risk? It's a risk. It's a risk, right? Fear of commitment. Why? Because there's a jealousy here. Do I respond or do I not? Um, uh, sweet beggar, you've got to let him know. Should he stay or should he go? But that's going to be a lot up to you, right? It feels like the power here. There's a big opportunity for, for humility and compassion and self-esteem and, and to really ask for help, but not necessarily being dependent without taking effort, right? Like, like you can take, you can, you can receive gracefully. You can ask for help and receive it. That's for everybody. But the whole idea is, as we go through that so often in relationships, particularly so that we are transformed, so that when the next situation comes in, often we can pass on at least the wisdom, right, of what's given, that, that the beggar has the opportunity for great generosity uh, on on the other side of that all right one more card for this a whisper of true love please my pantheon of angels gods and masters please one last message here for this taurus twin flame relationship taurus sun moon rising venus signs august 2019 please one last whisper of love focus on love look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life, in that hurting, in that just hurting. So the overall message here, this, again, I can't shake the familial thing, but that might just, you know, and again, you're, I'm reading the collective here. I have to remember that this basic yet somewhat specific theme is playing out in thousands of different storylines. My work, even though it's really detail-oriented, the Virgo part is to go in and identify each individual story. That's it's not really serving that. So you know, if it doesn't vibe with you, let it pass by um, for Taurus, because I can't read every Taurus everywhere. It's really I ask that this serve right, so that it gets the people who are actually going to be watching these. Um, or, or even if you know somebody that this sounds like, is just like the, let them know that that there is some real healing here, and that twin flames like. Just because it's a twin flame and you fulfill your contract doesn't necessarily mean they live your life. It's just you don't set each other on fire so much anymore. You know, that's why with it, with whether it's parent, child, or lover, or sibling, like brother, sister, brother, brother, however it plays itself out, Taurus, don't forget your life values here that, yes, things are being shaken, but if this is a child to you, or if it's your child that's shook, and sure, that's a part of it. The child in you might be like, oh, I don't know, but these are things that, if you spend some time together, take the risk and actually communicate on a somewhat friendly, at least an offering of friendship, right? That that ace of, of 
blades. Let me offer this idea. Can we do this friendly? Yes, I know it's a risk, but you know, right? It's like focus on the good attributes. Communicate that heart-centered, heart-centered, that even though you may not be able to heal each other, that there's a lot of healing for each of you that you can do for yourselves here and uh, soothe this, soothe this, that it may be a blessing upon all of life. And what more can we ask that our relationships be a blessing, right, on all of life, uh, holographically in one way or another. So good luck to you, uh, Taurus. I wish you very much on what could be a very, very challenging situation here, but one that totally makes sense on the overall path of true love, particularly, because <laughs> let us not forget, you've got the true love card here. So is this a twin flame that transforms into a soulmate or a true love? Don't know. But uh, the, that, that card of friendship, so key, so powerful, and to focus on what's good in each other. It's what we all need to do, isn't it? So good luck on this, my bulls. I love you so much. Um, and please, if there's something here that resonated, hit the like button, subscribe, share it around, um, because it feels like this is the time on planet Earth for this stuff in general. Cool, cool. Thank you so much for watching, but for now, from my pentacles to yours, <laughs> farewell and blessed day.